today, and now I'm going to do inelastic collision. And an inelastic collision, it is a collision which there is a lot of kinetic energy, and, but momentum is conserved. Kinetic energy is not. So what is the difference between inelastic and elastic um, uh, collisions, then? For inelastic collision, there's a loss of kinetic energy, so kinetic energy is not conserved. What is the difference between this and the elastic collision you guys learned about yesterday? Kinetic energy is conserved and elastic? Yes. For an elastic collision, the kinetic energy is conserved. And so the equation that you're going to be using for inelastic collisions looks like this. M1 equals V1I plus M2 V2I equals the mass is combined plus velocity final. And the way the uh, inelastic collisions look like is, oh, I didn't bring the balls today, but that's okay. I think they cause more problems <laughs> than they help you guys. But a collision, inelastic collision is one where they are colliding towards each other, and they stick to each other and then move. <clears throat> so yesterday, elastic collisions were all about collisions where they kind of bounce off each other and go in different directions. Inelastic collisions, they stick together and they're stuck together and then they move. And that is why kinetic energy is not conserved because uh, some energy is lost to those uh, objects combining together. And so, yeah. Oh, I can do that. So this is, oh my gosh, I forgot this doesn't work. Well, this was supposed to be a video showing you how an elastic collision would work.